PFA chemicals. What are they? Where are they? And can they make you sick? But first of all, why on earth do we rely on private companies to look after our well-being? Seems to be a little bit of an oxymoron because, you know, in their nature, companies there for one thing, to make money. They don't care about your health. That's just, just something they've got to do, apparently, but they're failing miserably. Now, PFA chemicals have been a bit of a talk today. They have, well, it's in The Guardian, and I'll leave a link in the description down below, because they've been found in the drinking water sources across England. Now, my daughter's already done a test on chemicals regarding... Actually, it wasn't her, actually, it's her friend did one. And they found nitrates in their tap water. Well, this is angling water, this is. Nitrates are not particularly healthy for you. They're toxic. But so are PFA chemicals. But what are PFA chemicals? Well, PFA chemicals pretty much can be found in your cookware. The DuPont Teflon coated non stick cookware is one of the prolific sources of PFA chemicals, but this has been going on for the donkey's years now. It's not a recent event, and as it says here, forever ke chemicals are being found in 99% of Americans and 100% in Donald Trump. That's why he's orange, probably, or something like that, anyway. <laughs> so, so hundreds of everyday products are made using these highly toxic, uh, fluorated chemicals called PFAs. A polyfluoral alkali, I think it is. And uh, very small doses of PFAs have been linked to cancer, reproductive and immune system harm. Now, this is in the United States, this is. But what actually are they? So, in 1946, DuPont, which is a brand, and uh, introduced non-stick cookware coated with Teflon. And today, the family of uh, fluorinated chemicals that sprang from Teflon um, includes thousands of non-stick stain repellent and waterproof compounds called PFAs, short for per and polyfluoroalkyl substances. Now, even in your oh, Scotch guard or one of those uh, protectants they put on your... Um, clothes and what have you and sofas you know can contain pfas as well it's all around you it's very hard to escape but why should we care why should we worry well they're not good for human poor people <laughs> no can make you sick in fact the cdc says uh, increased cholesterol levels as a result of uh, exposure to pfas Decreased vaccine response in children. Changes in lev liver enzymes. Well, that can cause all sorts of um, problems with uh, pancreatic cancer and stuff like that. Uh, and digestive issues. Increased risk of high pressure, uh, high pressure, high blood pressure or preeclampsia in pregnant women. There's an increase in preeclampsia in pregnant women already in the UK, but probably across the world, to be fair. And uh, small decreases in infant birth weights. We are seeing that, aren't we? We're um, we're shrinking, effectively. Now, we can joke about all this stuff and what have you, but you know these are signs. These are things that we should really to be taking our head out of the sand and actually taking note. Oh, anyway, happy to the old like button helps the channel, you know. And uh, increased risk of kiss, kidney and testicular cancer. But will we do anything about it? It's pretty flippin' unlikely, isn't it? Because we don't seem to want to do anything about anything. We just want to stick our head in the sand and not actually pay attention to what's actually slapped us in the face. See, these things, because you can't see it, people don't really care. Now, I've made videos on this topic before. Oh, crikey. Probably two years ago I was making videos on this topic. Did they get any views? No. Will this video get any views? No. But I've made my mind up now. 
videos I put on this channel, I'm not doing it to chase the views now because I don't get the views anyway, so I worry. And uh, someone's going to talk about what I want to talk about on this channel and things that I think that should be concerning people and get brushed under the carpet. So if I get a few views on it, might, yeah, some people might take note and might make people think, hey, oh, what can we do about it? So what can we actually do about it? Can we remove the PFAs from our water? In theory, yes. So filters containing carbon can remove a PFA, but also reverse osmosis uh, membranes. So you can get uh, multi-stage reverse osmosis um, filter systems. I think they're okay. you can use them in the UK. I think in the in France, I believe they are actually illegal here. And the reason for that is because because reverse osmosis filters, they re remove everything from the water. You just get left with water. Well, it's all very well, but you need your minerals. It removes all that as well. So it's not very healthy. So, um, But there again, no, no is PFA. So you can, I suppose you've got to make your mind up. Uh, and the problem is we're finding these PFAs in everything. And bottled water, tap water, we're finding them everywhere. It's very hard to avoid. And if you've got, yeah, for instance, if you've got your own uh, substances, uh, sources in your own home, such as your... Well, Teflon coated frying pans, for argument's sake. Yeah, it's still gonna be subject to yourself to these PFAs. And is it a volume related thing or does do you need just a tiny amount to cause the damage? Or is this a mass exposure over a long period of time? Well, studies have showed that it's very small amounts of PFAs are linked to cancer. It's not very good. No. But activated carbon filters, they're very basic things. A bit like your Brita jugs, they're activated carbon. I'm not going to say they could be particularly effective. You'd want something like that, dense block, you know, uh, carbon filters, not, yeah. A Berkeley or something like that even would be better than one of those Brita filters, if, if you are, in my opinion. The only reason I know about this is because we're on well water here, uh, where I live in France, and um, we could be on mains, but we chose to stay on well water, get rid of a build on that. But I have to put um, filtration systems in in line for our drinking water so it's also for courses i suppose but you know end of the day those who want to make the money are the ones who are trying to poison us and the water companies are doing pretty much zilch about it because with any high um, degree of filtration such as carbon for instance especially solid block carbon filtration it takes a very long while from the water to get from point a to point b we reduce the flow of the water which means they require more infrastructure to do you know, to get that water from a to b to get it through to your taps and then can it pick up the pfas on its journey from the processing to your tap anyway it's and then are you going to avoid it anyway if you're going to carry on cooking with your teflon coated frying pans argument's sake or your other uh substances other other sources that happen to be already in your home we're surrounded by toxins that have been put there by corporations that want to make the money and then we rely on the corporations we pay them even more money to say to them, oh, will you remove them for us? Even though they're the, they're the ones that put them in there in the first place. We've been taken for a flipping ride, we are. If it isn't the fact that you can't go skiddy dipping in your local river or seas without the risk of gurgling on a turd, you're going to get testicle cancer from your water. Lovely. Anyway, what do you think about this? Do you think we should be talking more about it? Because I do. I've been trying, but this channel doesn't get enough boots. So, anyway, if you want to support the channel, you can do it on Patreon or buy us a coffee. But please, 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 uh, boot the old like button. And I'll try and talk about things that aren't necessarily in the mainstream news at any one time. I'll try, anyway. Because it's, uh, it's getting a bit frustrating. We get the same old, same old all the while. Anyway, it's time for me to go. So I'm say to you, you know... Doodaloo.